What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at a hard SQL interview question asked by Twitch. Let's get into it. This one's called Viewers Turn Streamers. Once again, very interesting because it is a real scenario and kind of an interesting question to think about. It says, from users who had their first session as a viewer, how many streamer sessions have they had? Return the user ID and number of user sessions in descending order. In case there are users with the same number of sessions, order them by ascending user ID. So, for people who started out as a viewer, how many streaming sessions have they had? And then order everything by <laughs> number of sessions and user ID. We have a table called Twitch Sessions, which gives us exactly that information. We have user ID, session start and end time, session ID, and session type, which could be streamer or viewer. You can stream or view on Twitch. That's it. Let's think about how to approach this one. This one's marked as hard, so... It sounds like a short problem, but might be a bit more complicated. Okay, so from users who had the first session as a viewer, that could be our first approach, just finding out which users had the first session as a viewer, how many streamer sessions have they had. Okay, so once we have that list of users who started out as viewers, we count up how many streamer sessions that they had. Then it's about ordering that. And in case of a tie, we have to order by ascending user ID. So it's probably just going to be in order by two columns instead of one. Okay, so let's start out by looking into which users started out as viewers. Okay, basically what we would do here looking at this table is look at the session start time. Problem. Yeah, we don't even have to use end time probably because in theory they shouldn't overlap. You can't view and stream at the same time, I think. Unless you have several browser windows open. Anyways, the start time is the deciding factor. <clears throat> so if you take the lowest start time, session start time, look at the session type, you're gonna know if that user started out as a viewer or a streamer by that definition. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's select user ID from that Twitch sessions table and think about what else we need. Now we could do a rank window function, filter to rank one to get the first value in that table per user ID and then look up the session type. We could also take something even more sophisticated the first value window function, which it gives you exactly the first value. In this case, we don't care about ties, which rank is really good for. So I think we're gonna go with first value. So the first value window function looks like this first value. Then you're gonna specify a column which you want the first value from. In this case, session type, we want the first value of session type for each user ID which brings me to the next section. So we're doing this um, per user ID, so we're gonna partition by user ID and order by the session start time in ascending order. So ascending order means lowest first, and if we take the first value, it, would be, it will be the lowest start time. And by definition, that's like the first session they had. Okay, so that should give us the first value of session type by user ID ordered by session start in ascending order. And that's already quite a lot we established. Let's see if this runs. It does. It gives us the first value per user ID for each row. So we have multiple entries per user ID here because we have multiple sessions for them. And it's always going to reduce the session type to the first value, which is streamer for user ID one. So let's give this a more fitting name. Let's call that first session. And then we could either group by these two columns to reduce it to just one row per column, uh, one row per user, or specify distinct user ID and it's just gonna output one user ID and then the corresponding first session value. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with, makes it a bit shorter. And that's pretty much our 
baseline, our foundation for that question and that solution. So we have information of a user's first session and whether that was a streaming or viewing session. Now we're going to have to filter that to viewers only because that's what we're interested in. People who started out as viewers, so I think we're going to have a where filter somewhere down there. And then count the amount of sessions they had. So we're taking our foundation. Call, let's call that um, user first session because it contains information about a user's first session. And I think what will we need to select from here? We're going to select user ID. We then want to count up the amount of streamer sessions they had. So we're going to have to look back at our original table called Twitch sessions because this one's not reduced yet. This one now only contains a user ID and that first session. So we're going to select from Twitch sessions and we're going to have to join this table on user ID. So Twitch sessions dot user ID should be user first session dot user ID. Now, I'm going to put the where filter here, but let's think about this for a second. We still want to count up the amount of streamer sessions they had. We could, basically we now also look at the original table and session type. We could say case when session type is streamer, then one L0. And that way we would only count up the session type column where the entry is a streamer, where we have a streaming session. Take the sum of that case statement and we get the amount of streaming sessions a viewer had. Even easier would be to just say count star and filter to streaming sessions in the where filter. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to say where Twitch sessions, just to be clear, dot session type is streamer. And let's not forget about our initial filter we wanted to create, which is that a user's first session should be a viewing session. Viewer. Okay, so that's the field in this other table, user first session that we created. So we're going to filter this to the fact that a user had a viewing first uh, session as their first session. And we're going to filter to streaming sessions in the original table. We have all of this information because we joined them. And then we're going to count up the amount of rows. And since it's filtered to streaming sessions of users who started out as viewers, we're going to get the amount of streaming sessions of users who started out as viewers. And that's exactly what we want. Another way to do that, I just um, did a join here. Another way to do that would be to look up the user ID using where in. So as part of the where filter, we would say where user ID is in that table. And then filter that table to viewer sessions only as well. Yeah, I think I like this one more, but that's just person preference. And where in can be complicated for some people, but it would make sense here as well. Okay. So let's call that count star as, let's call it end session because I think that's what's in the expected output end sessions. We also have to group by user ID to count these sessions per user ID. And the only thing left is to do the ordering. So we should return the user ID number of sessions in descending order. So user ID Okay. In case they are users with the same number of sessions, order them by sending user ID. So first number of sessions in descending order. And if that's a tie, then user ID in ascending order. Okay. Now user ID is in both tables, so I'm gonna have to specify one of them with user ID for SQL to know which one I'm referring to. 
and that should do the trick. Let's hope this runs. It does. We have user ID 1 and 3, so in this case there is a tie because they only have one streaming session each. And then the lower user ID comes first because we're ordering by user ID in ascending order in case of a tie in, in sessions. This one evaluates to solve uh, solved all the test cases. And this is going to be it for that question. As I said, you could use where in, you could use rank window function in here. And uh, yeah, there's probably more ways to do this as well. You could use minimum date in there too, or minimum session start, and then look up the session type associated with that minimum session start. Bunch of ways to solve this, but I try to keep it short and kind of build it up. Uh, at least you should really start with that foundation of finding the user ID's first session and the associated session type and then start from there. But that's it for this question. I think it was indeed a hard one because you need to be careful and uh, think in multiple steps and know which step was come first. And yeah, very interesting question. Could come up in a real interview pretty hard, so maybe towards the end. But yeah, if you want to try this one, head on over to stratascripts.com. I'm going to leave a sponsored link in the description and in the comments. And you can try this one and many more, which are company tech for Twitch or other big tech companies. That's been it for me. See you next time. Bye-bye.